I am Vanessa Joy at Vanessa Joy here on Instagram, but we are here on Adorama to talk about this beautiful new camera, the Canon EOS R5. We are gonna do a gorgeous shoot here with Ali. I do have a 28 to 70 lens on now. I'll likely be changing that to a little bit longer of a lens. A lot of people talking about this camera and we're gonna do mostly stills, but I have shot video on it so we can talk about both. I wanna show off some of my favorite features just in general about the camera, how I use it. I've actually started doing things a little bit differently um, than I'm used to. So. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer and I started on film and then DSLR is actually my primary body. I've changed a few things because of how this camera performs, the technology, how I shoot, and I think it's for the better, you know, it's adapting. So let's actually go ahead and switch. I'm gonna go right to the 85 millimeter. I have my little collection of lenses over here. These pretty much could be my bicep weights, <laughs> but we've got uh, the Canon 28 to 70. 2.0, I've been using this lens so much, so much. Uh, but I do have the 85 1.2 here. I'll give you a good look while it collects dust and freaks me out. <laughs> uh, and this is a beautiful portrait lens, so I think that's a great place to start. We're overlooking Manhattan, and we have Allie who's standing nicely by the corner. And the cool thing is, so where Allie is right now, you can see there's not any shadow on her, or there is shadow on her face, but if she just steps back a hair, now we've got the sunlight pouring on her. So we're gonna mess with both of those things with the camera. So let's start easy, or as I think it's easy, and I'm gonna have you in the shade, so do a little lean forward. Nice. Uh, step one is turn camera on. <laughs> now, I have normally been shooting, even with my DSLR, getting my exposure using live view. So this is not any different. I take a look, see what I got. Now I know because of the lighting situation, it's gonna blow out a lot of the background, but I'm pretty okay with this right here. Now this camera does have in-body stabilization. So if I want to, I can go pretty low on my shutter speed. Although right now the light is calling for about 200th of a second. I'm at F.2. You know what, I think I'm gonna go all the way down to 1.2, just for funsies, because this camera's autofocus technology is insane. It is so good. And I'm at ISO 100, just so we get a nice, clean image. And you can see the eye tracking on her. I'm set to servo, and it's tracking her eye. Go ahead and kind of like do circles with your head. Yeah, see how it's just, and it goes from eye to eye, whichever one is closer, back and forth. All right, nice detection. And you know, what? actually do like a little, just turn around real quick, uh, like whole body turn around. Yep, and then turn back. And then you can see how quickly it catches the eye. So, so fast. All right, so let's take some pictures. Now, normally I don't shoot holding the camera out. I do want to put it to my face, typically. This is a nice high key. Bring your hand down. Actually, I love it up there. And then take a step towards it a little bit. Nice, and a little lean back, good. And the other shoulder, you can roll back a little bit. Beautiful. So I've got pretty much nothing but white behind her, which is fun for this. So what I'll do next, let me just show you what we got there so you can see what we're working with. Just super blown up background, just nice high key image, which looks pretty. I like it, you know, it's okay to blow up background sometimes, but see how careful we have to make sure she stays, at least for this exposure. Just like that. All right, so let's do a couple more, but I want to get a higher angle. Now, this is something that typically with my 1DX3 that I normally shoot with, I wouldn't do, but because we have the flip LCD screen, I find myself shooting at higher angles a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that out. I'm gonna bring this up here. Nice, love it. I'm gonna take a step closer, kind of lean towards the window a little bit more. And the great thing is, I honestly, I can see my framing but because of the reflection of the sun on the camera right now, I cannot see the focus point, but I know that it's doing its job. The deep learning tech in this camera that you'll also find in the live view of the 1DX Mark III, as well as the R6, it's honestly incredible. I don't even have to think about it anymore. Just taking that higher angle, it really gives Allie a little bit more freedom to move around. So the lower angle was about here. And if she moved her head too much up, I get too much neck. But if we skip to when I went higher, 
now she has the freedom to really move her chin up a little bit more too. So just a nice, a nice thing to be able to do and be able to do it comfortably. Like I said, I wasn't even noticing where my focus was. Let's actually just zoom in, Oops. zoom in and take a look. And oh my God, guys, that's a one, two handheld one, two letting, you know, the camera do the, do the work. Super, super sharp. It's crazy. Crazy. How oh. compared to the 5D Mark IV with the 85 uh, That's a good question. So the weight of this right now, I have the battery pack on, so that's definitely making it heavier. The 85 RF lens is definitely heavier than the EF 85 IV that I use. So overall right now, this is definitely heavier than the 5D IV with that lens on it. But you kind of have to like weigh, you know, what does heavy mean? Oh, the coffee's here. Great. <laughs> you know, what is heavy? So for me, I'm not thinking about just what I'm holding at the time. I'm thinking about my, my bag. So if we go back over here to the lens, which I want to switch anyway, you're looking at what goes in my bag on any given shoot. And by that, I mean those two lenses right there. A lot of the times I'm not even bringing along my 85. I do bring along the 85 if I kind of want to do it for funsies. But these lenses, because, you know, and this is not available for the 5D4 or any of the EF line, you can't adapt it, but you can adapt the other way. Like I have my 135 here and this has the adapter on it. And I can still use that lens. So weight, I'm not just thinking about what goes in my hand, I'm thinking about what goes in my bag. And I'm trudging all throughout New York City today and the last thing I want is a million lenses. So that's all I brought for a total of three different shoots today. So, all right, let's do some more fun. So let's do stuff where Allie's actually in the sun and we can play with that. So I love this. The cool thing is that you get a nice reflection too. So if you turn your head as much as you can towards the window, yeah, that's what we'll work with. Now I have to change my exposure, of course, to deal with the sun. So keep your eyes down because you'll be blind. <laughs> but bring your chin up a little bit more. So I want that light going in her eyes and again, I'm shooting using the LCD screen versus using the EVF. And this has become one of those things that is a little bit more of a change for me. I'm gonna get a little taller and we're actually gonna use these. Let's get these out of the way. There we go. So chin up even a little bit more. Love that. Maybe bring your hand up to either your shoulder or, yeah. And then do the other hand too. Love it. Just kind of like play with your dress a little bit. Set the barrier inside. Hey guys. Nice. Good. Allie, a little bit higher on your chin. Yes, right there. And then eyes to me. Beautiful. All right. So let me let you guys take a look. So see how she goes chin down, then just kind of black goes into her eyes. But if we keep her chin up like that, and it's so slight, so slight. Let's play with this a little bit more and get more of the whole scene because so far we've been just doing close-ups. Like, let's get the whole thing. All right. What, what, is, what are they saying in there? I love looking at the chat. All right, you're going to have a uh, seat over there in the corner. I don't know what it is lately, but I've been doing so many photo shoots sitting down. I think I'm just getting lazy, maybe. <laughs> or it's giving me different points of view. But again, that's something that's coming with the camera because a lot of times I like shooting with a low angle, but I don't because I don't want to be pulling out my yoga poses every time I shoot. So instead, having the flip screen, it's just, it's really freed up more of what I do. I'm going to take the strap off so I really can just kind of put this on the ground and shoot with it that way. Yeah, this is fun. All right, so we're just kind of framing this up. Want her in the lower third. Looks like she's got nothing but sky. And Allie, what you'll do, oh yes, the sun is perfect there. So just kind of look out a little bit more towards me. Yeah, right about there and keep your chin up a bit. Nice. And let's see, even that far away right now, it's detecting her head. So she's a little further away. And then your feet, bring them back towards you a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, normally I probably wouldn't have even bothered doing a shoot like this because I would have thought, eh, I gotta get on the floor, I gotta be annoyed. That looks great. Pretty. 
Nice, let's get some verticals. Beautiful, and you can just take your arm up, kind of mess with your hair, move it around. Beautiful. Just basking in the glory of your awesome New York City apartment. <laughs> All right, let me show the people at home. All right, so just a really fun angle. I'm working with the light. You know, a lot of times I try to hide the light and I, you know, want to not deal with a sharp sun like this. Actually, let me take off your info here so you can really see, but sometimes it's fun just to let her play in here. I think I like that a little bit better where I see a little bit more floor, but really fun, fun leading lines. All right. Now let's do something completely the opposite, and I'm gonna blow out the background entirely, but we'll pull in a reflector so we can control the light on her face a little bit more. You know, you can come on up. Yeah? Um, how do you suppose where the subject in the background is bright? Oh, let's do that now. <laughs> we'll do that now. So how do we expose for the subject when the background is bright? So Ali, you're gonna stand right here in front of the window and you just kind of lean there. All right, so if you wanna come here and they can kind of see. If you are using any auto setting of any kind, this is probably close to what it's gonna do for you. So if I were to go into, let's say AV mode, right? And I'm just gonna set aperture let's say down to two all right that's what it, it's going to do all right a little bit brighter than i had before maybe because it's recognizing that's a face but what you typically want to do is you go to your exposure compensation here uh, this this little line and then with your thumb you can bring it up so watch what that does in the back if i'm pointing it at Allie, and then i bring it up it's going to get whiter and whiter and whiter all right so with that in mind i'm going to go back to manual because I do want to control it all by myself. And I usually just look at the back of the screen and dial in to where I need to be. Now, if I want to blow it out entirely, I can. But what happens if I'm trying to blow out all of the white here, you know, her face is getting blown out too. So you just have to be careful and you have to position them in a certain spot. Um, that'll be a little bit better. And you don't want it to be so much in the background that there's haze, which would happen if I came this way you would get a little bit more haze. Not as much, we're still okay. Cool, so if we do that. All right, so that's how you just expose for it. You gotta forget about the white background for a little, you know, unless you want that. But just be careful, it's not like engulfing her, and that does have to do a little bit with your lens. You know, some lenses are gonna help a little bit with the hazing more than others, so just something to consider. I kind of liked what's happened here, so you hang there, and Erwin, do you mind? I'm just gonna give Allie a little bit of light probably like right, where was it? Just had it right there, all right, got it? So there's this fine, come towards me. We are not social distancing right now. <laughs> all right, right there, good, that's fun. So again, I'm just dialing it in, getting what I want from that, adding a little bit more light to her. I'm gonna back up. What if you want background and lighting her up? Background and lighting her up? Right now, I mean, it depends on how strong you want it to be. We can do that next if you guys want. But we need to add a flash. Allie, look down towards me. Love that. And let me get one more kind of in front of you, which was the original plan. Steal this from you, and we'll go right there, if you don't mind. Chin down a little, nice. And then alter like where your hands are, wonderful. And tilt your head a little that way, that's gorgeous. Nice, just keep kind of moving around, moving your hands, nice. Bring your elbows down a little more. So let me show the people at home. All right, so that's what we're getting. And that building in the back is preventing it from being totally white. So just depending on where you are, because as I move around, 
over this way. Now we've got more of a totally white background. And oops, and there too. What's the model's Instagram handle? What's your Instagram? Allie Sizing. A L L I E C as in cat. I Z as in zebra. E K. We will put that in the description also if you're watching this later. All right, I'm going to grab a flash, which I do have. I happen to have. And because we have white walls here, I am going to show you how to do this in the easiest possible way. So we're just going to bounce some light off these walls that we have here with this Profoto A1X. Um, I would assume that it should be flash bouncing off the glass. Any tips on avoiding that? Yes. Uh, well, normally anyway, when I bounce, I'm going to have all of this coming back. It's all about the angles. So you could have it coming off of the glass if you're at that angle. So angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. So if I had a light right here pointed at her and I was standing here, I would absolutely see it. But with bounce, honestly, you don't have as much of a problem. You actually end up seeing the wall behind. But let's give this a try. Now, the easiest way you want to do this is find your darkest background. So I'm not going to shoot into the sun again. So, Ali, you're going to go back over there and take a little step. A little, actually, you were, you were right. <laughs> she knows where to <laughs> hide from the sun for me. So ideally, Ali is going to be in that shaded light, right, because we're trying to fill it. So you're going to stay right around there. When I get my exposure, I am going to make sure that the background is exposed correctly so you can see all the detail. Now she's dark, but that's what we're going to fill in and fix with the flash. So let's go ahead and turn the flash on. I'm just going to have it on TTL. And when you bounce, well, let's just start bouncing behind us first, right in the face. <laughs> see what happens. Nice. All right, so let's take a look. Let me go right to the one before. Oh, I didn't take it before. Hold on. Let me take one without the flash so you can see the difference. Good. Okay. All right. So that was before. And then this is with the flash. You know what? I had it on a manual. So let me do one more. It looks a little dark. So what I'm going to do is bring it up. I'm going to hit manual here because I have a feeling I'm going to have to go all the way to 10 to fight this. So let's see if it works, bouncing it off the wall here. Wonderful. There you go. That's a better before and after. And it looks really fun. So that's before, and that's after it's filling her in. Now, I don't have to just bounce it behind me. I could bounce it off this wall here. So I love what you're doing with your dress and everything. Um, keep your head tilted slightly that way, because the light's going to come from that way and hit her. So I want it going in her eyes. Nice, cute, perfect. Oh, that's fun. We're gonna do a couple more like that, but now it's coming from the side. So before it was coming from here, and maybe you would have seen a reflection. Actually, I think I can see the wall right there. But moving it over to that side and bouncing off the side, now I don't see that reflection in there. Let me zoom in, because you can see it very slightly. See that line? That's the wall behind me that I'm bouncing the light off of. But on the next one, you don't see it because I bounced it somewhere different. I moved where it was. This is fun. I love what you're doing with your dress. Let's do a few more. I'm going to come a little closer and try to get the dress to come like towards me a little bit. Yeah, because then it'll, it'll exaggerate. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> love it. And I'm definitely maxing out my flesh. Oh, fun. Do, I love when it comes around that side, too. So we'll do both. Perfect. Nice. So good. Oh, uh, let's look. So much fun. So now we're getting both the background and alley exposed. It's a lot of fun. What flash are you using? Oh, this is a Profoto A1X. Does it say on the front? No. This is a very powerful speed light. They call it the portable strobe or mini strobe something along those lines. Uh, one more solution to this, if you want to come actually and hold this right there, instead of bouncing it off the wall, I'm going to bounce it right off the reflector. And because this is closer to her, we're going to actually see the light affect the image more. 
So I just have to make sure I'm bouncing and I have to bounce it at an angle so that it hits here and then equal angle right off into Allie's face. Nice. Perfect. And now, actually it's gorgeous. Let's see my reflection. <laughs> you can see the reflection right there. So how can we change that? We'll just make a little tilt. You're gonna still go here. You're gonna take a step this way. We gotta find the shade again. And then you'll be right here. And this should solve the problem. Yep, there you go. All right, so we just moved a little bit. I don't particularly like that coming right above her head, but that's the idea. All right, you look awesome, girl. <laughs> I'm like, no, you can't see. And, and honestly, sometimes, you know, it's a mix. We have to do one more because she needs to be right in there. All right, one more, Erwin, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you're gonna split the difference of where we were? Yes, right there. And Erwin, I'm gonna make you hold that one more time. What is your normal girl to camera? Oh, that is a long question. I'll answer that <laughs> as soon as I get this shot right. So this is gonna go right there. Love it. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, this is fun. All right, I see a little bit of a reflection here, but I'm not dying, you know, by it right now. I'd much rather think about, you know, the photos that we're taking of her and get those right. And so I've got a little bit to deal with there maybe in post. Oh, but it's not there. So fun. You want to see? Because I always feel weird when I don't wow. show you. So much fun. <laughs> All right, so my go-to camera. I have no idea because I have the 1DX Mark III and I've been shooting with the R. The R is the camera I'm probably going to upgrade. I'm not going to replace my 1DX Mark III because it's a different camera, a different tool for different uses. My 1DX Mark III I'm still going to use on my weddings because it has much more weather sealing than these cameras really can even have. So I have to shoot in the rain, I have to shoot in a blizzard or whatever it is. I, I want that extra protection, and I know people think it's overkill for weddings, but that's what I use. My R, I would shoot a lot of portraits, maternity sessions, engagement sessions, and that one I'm gonna go upgrade to either the R5 or the R6. I don't know which one yet. I honestly don't know. I've played with both, but I kinda need to go back and play with the R6 again to decide if that's good for stills. You know, I'm thinking as a photographer, it's like, Bam, sorry if I hurt anyone's ears. And, uh, and not so much as video, so I have different purposes. It's all about whatever you need to shoot, your purposes. And um, I will tell you my go-to lens is this 20 to 72.0. Um, Canon let me borrow this, and I, hope, I really hope they forgot they let me borrow it. So um, hopefully they'll never ask for it back. I'd buy it in a second. All right, so I hope you had fun and uh, we'll definitely be posting some of these pictures on Instagram very soon because one of the other features that I love coming out of this camera is its ability to Wi-Fi directly to my phone so I can upload some pictures for you to take a look at very quickly. We'll do a little Lightroom adjustments. I got my own presets on my Lightroom mobile, so I'm all set. Don't even need to touch my computer. Thank you guys so much for wa walking. Thank you so much for watching. Do you want to say your name one more time so sure. people can have to that's A-L-L-I-E-C-I-Z-E-K. All right, so you can find Allie. And I'm at Vanessa Joy here on Instagram as well as YouTube. And make sure you hit follow if you don't already here at Adorama. And I will see you next time. I say that at the end of every video. I, I've got a good new line. <laughs>